Okay. All right. Hashtag Jimmy in the house. Heck yeah. Hello. Hashtag Jimmy's. River wife is in the house. Okay. I am so frozen on my monitor. Thank you, Candy. Encouraging everyone to hit that like. I appreciate that. Okay, I, uh, my monitor shows me frozen. How are you guys reading the live stream? Let's see if I can check it out on another monitor. I did get my own. Uh, looks good. Okay, I'm just having an issue over here. I got my own uh, notification, so that's good. Hopefully the notifications went out. Okay. I'm 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 freezing on two screens. Is that lag? Hashtag Jimmy coming on in. All right, you guys are saying everything's fine. So weird, man. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna try to refresh. Could that be catastrophic? <laughs> hey, Bob Kaler, we want rack. I want you guys too. Thanks for being here. UPS or okay. Now I got the I got the chat flying by on my monitor. Now it's catching up. Nero, Chattanooga Ed, I saw your name fly by. All right, we're gonna was, uh, maybe we're getting caught up here. What's going on? I've got another monitor over here. I don't know if it's my internet, my Wi-Fi showing me lagging. Okay, I think we're good now. We're going to get started. What up? Keith Annell, good to see you. That seems like a new name. Nice to meet you. Welcome aboard, you guys. Let's get the acclimation going. If you see those new guys in here, welcoming those new guys. 55 watching, 31 likes. Even it up, says Bob Kaler. Thanks for the support, Bob. I appreciate that. Uh, I can see 62 watching now. I can't see the likes. You guys will have to keep me posted on that. I do appreciate the support. The likes keep us going a little bit stronger, eh? Okay. Great. Oh, Alien World Aquatics in the house. Alien World, I hope you saw my uh, Alien Invasion video last week. That was cool, huh? I thought about you during the making of that. And let's see. Try to get the lights on. I don't know about this technology tonight. All right, got the lights on in the community tank. Everybody's in here taking a dip. The water's fine. Chad Crotz is in the house. Gnarly fish tanks. Good to see all of you guys. Hardworking mods here. Candy pumping up the show over there in KG Tropicals. Bob Kaler, did you do that too? I bet you did. Thank you guys for being here, for working so hard. Jamie McDonald, what is going on? He says that Candy has the best no content channel on YouTube. Absolutely. Let's get Candy to a thousand subscribers. She does so much work. Um, she's not a creator per se, but she supports all the creators that I'm involved with and then some. Almost all. There's probably some people that she's missed, but she's working her way around. Fishkeeper Cole in the house. It's going well. Craig Pollock already calling out the t-shirt. Now this is throwing it back a little bit. Anybody know where this shirt's from? Who's the uh, who's the artist? I don't know if you, tiny tiny little signature there. I don't think it's showing up on camera. Candy's the best. Psychotic about aquatics. Nice name. I like that. Candy hashtag Candy a thousand. Yes, indeed. Oh, somebody shouting out Joey. Joey, what's going on? Um, Priscilla. That's right. Candy. Candy. Ask Candy. River Wife knows, Bob Keller. That that's Priscilla, MK Art. That's a shirt she did. 
uh, years ago. It was on uh, available on Teespring. About the time she came out with this sticker, vintage, rare. I don't know if you can get that anymore or not, but I've got one. Got the sticker jam going over here at the community tank. Thank you guys for participating. Mark Hill's in the house. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Thanks for showing up. Chelsea Riley, hello, Scott's Aquatics. All right. Um, we got lots of good folks in here. We're, I've got 62. Does that look right to you guys? 62 folks in the house. And uh, the likes are on the rise. You guys are pumping up the likes. Thank you very much. If, if uh, Punchy Paints shows up, someone get my attention. Fish Tropic, what's up, buddy? Smash that like. That's right. Um, let me know if Pam gets in here. 63 watching. Thank you, Candy. It's 1036. We're here at the Community Tank live stream on the River Life YouTube channel. And we've made mention of several great people in the community being here. Some new people in the community, also great. A sticker jam going on. If you'll send a self-addressed stamped envelope to my uh, post office box, that will be included in the description of the video. Sometimes it shows up in chat, too, because the mods are so cool. Um, you can send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, and I will send you some stickers. I've got Project Piaba stickers. I've got River Life stickers. I've got uh, Otter Creek Aquatic stickers. Multi Tank Addiction stickers. Fish Room Fever stickers. Um, uh, shortly, I'm going to have some Chattanooga Ed stickers. We're going to do a little uh, YouTubers meet up. Everyone's welcome. And uh, we're going to have several folks in Knoxville, Tennessee at a local fish store. Meeting and greeting and getting B-roll and doing live streams and doing the thing that fish fam YouTubers do, fish tubers, going crazy out there. And Chattanooga Ed's going to give me some of his stickers, so I'll have those to pass along too. Thank you for posting that link, Candy. And I did see uh, Kaler's Aquatics post a link to a GoFundMe for a candy overhaul. So you guys, if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do that. Definitely going to talk about that again later in the stream. But you keep those links rolling, guys. Thank you so much. So uh, I'm going to throw some chum out here on the water. That's just something that we talk about. Uh, I see aquariums and I'm distracted. So apparently a river wife is talking to Recon, who's got some aquariums rocking. I missed that Honda Civic. What's going on? Uh, anyway, I agree with river wife. Share the, share the uh, pics on those aquariums. That's cool. I'm using one as a hospital tank right now. As you know, got a shrimp aquarium going crazy. Okay, so we're going to get some chum on the water. That's where I throw an idea out there, a topic, and you guys chew on it through the whole stream. We'll talk about it right now, and you talk about it whenever you want during the stream. If something else comes to mind, throw it out there. It's okay. It doesn't have a shelf life. It doesn't expire. It's going to be good for the entire stream. And tonight's chum is this idea. I want you to think about this concept. Uh, River Wife and I go to a lot of aquarium conventions, you know, across the U.S., have a ball, meet the great people, get to make new friends, see old friends. You know, good food, good times, great fish, great fish equipment, and supporting accessories for aquatics. We love doing that kind of thing. We're fortunate to be able to do it. So with that in mind... Uh, and whether you have ever been to one or have not or want to, think about this and let me know how you would respond to this question. At an aquarium convention that had everything, everything was there, okay? Everything you know of was there and lots of stuff you don't even know about. Everything was there. At an aquarium convention with everything there, what would you go find first? What's at the top of your list at the aquarium convention? What are you going to go look for? What do you want to see? What is it? I want to know. Tell me what you would look for. Fish Tropic says the bass pond. You know, my uh, local Bass Pro store has an 11,000 gallon aquarium. Huge fish. Oh my gosh. Huge native fish. It's pretty cool. So I get that. Lumpy dog. He said he'd go find the fitness center and it would be empty. And he would run a marathon before he went around and saw everybody at the booths. 
Bob Kaler says the bathroom. I knew you guys were gonna <laughs> were gonna come up with some of the most creative ideas. Fish Tropics says the exit doors. Oh man, the fire marshal will be proud. Yes, identify the exits. John Larson says the mega tanks, and Bob Seb Selb says the koi. Heck yeah. Chevy Fish says the hardscape. And I know, you know why wow, that's a good idea, Chevy Fish, because if you don't get the hardscape first, someone else is. You're going to get the leftovers. Am I right? I think so. Native North American species, driftwood. Rose Aquatics going to look for rack. Oh, how sweet. Thank you, Rose Aquatics. I won't be hard to find. I'm going to be running around there with the camera taking a picture of everything so I can make a video about it. Fish Tropic says, yeah, it's the hardscape. Better Time Story says, wild bettas, plants, aquascaping, hardscape, limit as to what I can get where I live, so I'd be in paradise so long as I could find a way to bring it back. Yep, I know what you're talking about. I talk to people in the fish fam that drive, uh, especially if they have a truck, they drive for hours instead of flying so they can bring stuff home. Danica and Aquatic says, mud skippers, because they're so cool, right? Danikin, I like those guys. By the way, Danikin, I've got a little bit of footage of some great mud skippers at the Ripley's Aquarium in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. If you want to look through my... Um, oh, I can't think of the title of it right now, but if you want to look through my videos, I've got some pretty good mud skipper footage. And it's not a bad video either. There's lots of other cool things because it is the Ripley's Aquarium. And then Lumpy Dog, the second thing he wants to find is Haley's Dragon Dance Team, which he would have already seen because they'd be headlining on the stage at the entrance. Fishkeeper Cole says if he had the space for him, he'd get some rare quarries or maybe a saltwater tank. Oh, yeah, and both are cool. You can't go wrong. Do an and, not an or. Get them both. Cool stuff. Yeah, Danikin, thanks. I think if you like mud skippers, I think that'll be a good one for you to check out. You guys keep that idea rolling, okay? You guys keep rolling with that chum idea. We're going to move on. It's 1043. 71 watching. Man, thank you guys for piling in here. A lot of hashtag jimmies coming over from KG Tropicals. I appreciate the love from John and Lisa over there. Special guest tonight, Swiskey. Jimmy was on board talking about how to do some fish photography, improve the fish photography you're already doing um lots of information i was distracted setting up the stream but i can't wait 58 likes wow thanks bob that is cool thank you guys but i want to watch that uh replay and if you're into fish photography you ought to do the same thing so thanks for the love kg tropicals and support as always i appreciate it chewy's in the house good to see chewy as always good day blake's aquatics good to see you I uh, did discover your channel, uh, Blake's Aquatics. You've got some good ideas going there. I enjoyed watching a couple of your videos. Thanks for checking out um, some of my videos. I appreciate it, and you're always welcome here. Good to see you. So we're going to move on to the feeding frenzy and see what's happening. Uh, what was on your guys' mind? What did you guys have to say? What was your feedback when we tried to do another video premiere last week? You guys said about the Oliver Knot scape kit that it was a good looking nano. It was fancy. Where can I get one? What a kit. I had to watch it again. Awesomeness. You guys really love this Oliver Knot Flexi M. M stands for mini. Flexi mini aquascape kit. Comes with an excellent aquarium. I think it's that low iron glass with the polished edges, beveled polished edges, uh, great silicone work. Comes with a mat that's, you know, custom sized to fit the aquarium. And I put the dimensions in the video. It's a little over four gallons, 16 liters exactly. Uh, it's got a Mignon Special Edition 60 hang on the back filter, multi staged, 
with a pre-filter. There's a small sponge that slips over the intake as a pre-filter so you don't have to worry about your fry or your shrimp, small shrimp getting taken into the filter. So it's pretty cool. Candy said, yeah, and an intake sponge. It, I mean, it's premium. The light on the thing, it's worth watching the video just to see the light. The light won the uh, German IF award, which they talk about that. It's a 50-year history award, and they talk about that as if it's the Oscar of design. So the light alone, it, it's worth watching the video just to see the light segment. I had a great time making the video because every piece of that kit is premium. Um, it's not inexpensive. I could have bought five five-gallon kits at Petco for what I paid for that. But I don't have any regrets. They, they, It's rimless. It's professionally made. Like I said, the beveled, polished edges with nice silicone work, a mat, an award-winning light, and a filter that is probably best in class I, I wouldn't have any problem saying that i don't know if there's any data to support that but once you see the thing it's got a couple of little features on it including the pre-filter sponge that it's just not available on the market outside of this kit so oliver north a german guy a european award-winning aquascaper uh, is working with taiwan in designing this product and it comes in at a price point that you know is premium, but if you want it, you can get it, okay? It's not, I wouldn't say it's cost prohibitive, and I wouldn't say that it's inexpensive. There you go. That said, I wanna say MSRP is gonna be around 130. I purchased my kit in Knoxville at a local fish store, the aquarium. That's also Pectex local fish store, if you didn't know. His Pectex daughter worked there for a little while. Um, and they had a fantastic selection of nano tanks and they had some very affordable options and uh, you could get one a la carte. You could get a small tank, a separate light, a separate filter, or they had a few kits, but the, the prices really varied. I would say this was uh, probably the most expensive one they had for the, the tank and the light. And I don't know if the filter was supposed to come with it or not. The box, the lid said the contents were only the tank and the light. But when I opened it, there was a filter in there too. So I said, thank you very much and included it in the video. But I paid 119 for the kit. So, you know, I didn't break the bank. I was traveling to Knoxville. That's two hours from where I live uh, here in Mountain Home, Tennessee. And I, with the, you know, it's kind of like a, a vacation trip. It's something I don't get to do very often, maybe a couple times a year. So... I just took advantage of an opportunity there and so glad that I did. Glad that you guys love that kit. Uh, it's going to be, I, I thought I was going to do an unboxing and a setup and escaping in one video. And I started unboxing that thing and discovering feature after feature after feature. And there's, there's no way. So the video, uh, Oliver Not Scape Kit is the thumbnail. It's just an unboxing and, and going through the equipment, setting up the equipment. I didn't even add water. And so next week, uh, we're going to talk about this in the spawn coming up at the end of the show. We're going to continue the series. Um, we're going to go away from the components of the kit. I think we covered those fairly well. And we're going to get into talking about the scape. A special tank and kit like this deserves a special scape. So I'm going to... I'm going to take my time and do a special scape. If you're, if you're a follower, if you're, if you're already supporting the River Life channel and watching the videos, you got to see several steps, several phases of the 75-gallon goldfish tank as it developed. And so I was so pleased with the result of the 75-gallon with the fancy goldfish. And by the way, they have stolen our hearts. I've got those situated where you can't, you can't uh, come or go from the house without going by the aquarium with the goldfish in it. And they're little piggies, they're little puppies, and they're adorable, and we love them, and they love us. So that tank brings us so much joy. I'm going to take a similar path on this nano kit. So there, instead of one video, it's probably going to end up being a series of the steps that we take along the way. And uh, 
I don't know if I'm completely convinced of the stock list or not. It's going to be, the focus is going to be the aesthetics of the hardscape and the scaping of the tank. So we're going to get, we're going to make sure we, we get that polished in the way that we want it, the way that it makes us happy. And then we'll decide on the stock list. That said, if you've got any ideas, you can start letting me know about those right now. You can tell me uh, what might work in about a, a, a four gallon nano tank and I'll consider it. I'll put it on the buffet of options for consideration. And if I like it, I'll use it. And if I don't like it, I won't spit on it. I'll leave it on the buffet because it might be what the next guy wants, right? Tankers, that's the way we roll. Okay, so the, um, the Facebook group, uh, moving on to the surface. Oh, okay, yeah, the surface of the water columns. This is another uh, offbeat question. I asked you in the chum to talk about what's the first thing you'd find at an aquarium conference that had everything. Now, on the surface level, I want to know what fish that live at the surface level would make a good t-shirt model. What's the best t-shirt representative from fish that live at the surface level? Go. RCS for small tanks all day long, Melissa Jeswell. No argument, hands down a winner every time. Cannot go wrong. The Zen Ginger said, oh, Angela Hart. And oh, River Wife said, I make Rack send me video clips of the goldfish while I'm at work, love them. True story. And I do, and <laughs> and I love doing it. <laughs> it's so wonderful, isn't it? When your spouse, significant other, partner says, hey, how are the fish doing? Can, can you give me an update on the fish? It's pretty cool. Chelsea Riley says, Cardinal Tetra, that is also a winner. Every time, also one of my favorite fish. White clouds, love them. Got some going right now. Sand Creek, good idea. Guppies. Yep, we got the guppies in a couple of tanks at least. Yeah. Hatchet or butterfly. Jeffrey Boster. I don't recognize that name. Welcome. I love both of those fish ideas. Not sure if there's four gallons. I did hear of a pygmy hatchet fish. Maybe a small school of pygma. A butterfly fish. Okay, there's the butterfly fish again. Tell me about this butterfly fish. I'm thinking of, is it the African butterfly fish? The little, uh, I'm getting mixed messages. I'm talking about a t-shirt and occupants for a four gallon tank. Okay, so yes, the African butterfly fish, I think is an outstanding candidate for a t-shirt. I'm going to write that down because that would be beautiful. You guys are so smart. Thank you. And thanks for hanging in there with me. It took me a minute to get around to where we were. That is the butterfly fish. Excellent. Okay. And then up there at the surface, we talk about our Facebook group, the River Life YouTube channel, Community Tank Life Facebook group that exists to support the River Life YouTube channel and a place where we can chat during the off season. We only get a chance to gather here about once a week. It's Thursday night at 10.30. Right now it's 10.54, and we've got 70 of us here watching. After the live stream tonight and until this time next week, we've got the Facebook group we can hang out in. We were rocking at 229 members before the show started tonight. So let's see if we can get that over 230 so that would put us within 20 of 250 let's see if we can get the 250 we got the links rolling in the chat and you can go over there and look at some nice photographs of members tanks on saturdays we have external links if you've got a video you want to post or something else that's fishy related you can post an external link on saturday we did have to limit that to saturday um, we did have some members that were posting the same video repeatedly and it just became cluttered. So rather than say no links, except for the river life videos, of course, we're going to say external links on Saturday. And that way they'll all be there on the same day. If you're scrolling 
through the posts. You'll, you'll see them all together. It won't be cluttered throughout. It'll be nice and convenient. And we still get to post links. So we got that going on the Facebook group. Love to have you over there. Uh, we were at 229 and we're going to shoot for 250. Um, 67 of you still watching. If you're not a part of that group yet, get over there. If most of you haven't joined the Facebook group yet, that put us at our goal of 250. So check us out over there. If you like it, jump on in. It's same rules, no bullying, not, no sales, just, uh, just us talking about us things, fishy folks being warm and friendly and community minded and sharing community ideas. Love to have you over there. Jay Jr. Says, seriously, marble hatchets are archer fish. I'm picturing both of those in my mind as excellent candidates as well. Yep. Marble hatchets in particular. Yep. I mean, as opposed to the regular hatchet. And archer fish, the clouded archer, the true freshwater archer. Absolutely. Absolutely. FNS Fish Room's already a member. Appreciate that. Candy's got the link again. Making it too easy. Click the link. Ask for membership. Get back in here. We're going to talk about it some more. Danikin Aquatics says the top of the tank has to be the platinum half beaks. Often forgotten, the half beaks. The carnivorous live bearer that is awesome to watch. Just an incredible fish. Thank you, Danikin, for bringing that fish up that's not talked about often enough, in my opinion. We got Bob Kaler posting a link up there for the Facebook. People who are in there like being in there. People who aren't in there, I think they would like being in there. So we talk about it a little bit every week. We're not going to talk about it anymore this week. That's enough. Thank you guys for listening. It's 1057. Time to move on. We still got 70 people in here watching. It would be great for you guys to share this link. Get your, get your relatives and friends and fish keepers and family who aren't fish keepers yet to come on board and get in here and talk with us a little bit in the community tank. We're going to move on down to the middle, um, the mid dwellers and find out what's the best t-shirt model. Pygmy Coras. I just saw that UPS or I love those fish. Is Pam here? Did the uh, punchy paints make it in and I missed that. Somebody let me know. Okay. Yeah. The Pygmy Coras amazing fish. Sometimes they school off of the bottom, and it's like, what fish is that? Oh, that's my pygmy quarries. Nice. But now we're going to move down to the mid-level. the mid level. And what's the good uh, three-line pencil fish? That's good for the top of the tank, right? Yeah, and it's piaba, the zen ginger. That's correct. Thank you very much. Oh, the zen ginger. I, I have committed an oversight here. Let me hang on. All right, guys. Hang on just a minute. I'm seriously challenged by technology. Okay. There we go. Now, Zen Ginger is a mod. You guys give her a big hand. She's a big help around here. Helps out every week. So faithful. I appreciate you very much. Yeah, she's, I think, worked under Candy's tutelage. And does great work as a moderator and other channels I've witnessed. So welcome to our mod team. And now the t-shirt model for the middle of the tank. What is it going to be? Rice fish, Scott's Aquatics. Boom, that's quick. Project Piaba got a link there. We're going to talk more about them. A completely volunteer organization protecting a fishery to sustain our hobby. They are. Hey, Reels Tanks. Cheers back to you. And the old FNS fish room out there sharing links. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Glow like tetras, that middle of the tank fish on a t shirt. Sweet. I like that. Glow like tetras. Lumpy dog's gotten himself into trouble. And multi tank addictions lurking while he preps his stream. Hey, there's a good segue to talk about multi tank addiction stream coming up next following the River Life community tank live stream we're going to go over there to multi-tank addiction we're going to just jump in and raid chris's channel the guy's working hard to get some hours he needs some hours of watch time so his channel can be monetized he's crossed the 1000 subscriber threshold thanks to some of you guys i appreciate you very much for supporting my friend chris 
and now he needs some watch time hours. So we are going to run over there to Chris's stream immediately following our stream at 1130. It's 1101 now. we got 29 minutes. And in case uh, I forget, let me go ahead and mention a hashtag. We're going to we're going to raid the multi-tank addiction channel at 11:30 after we close shop here with the hashtag #nanoscape. Hashtag #nanoscape. That's how we're going to go over there and hit up Chris. And I saw someone in the chat say hi D. I'm wondering if down the wormhole is here and I'm miss Yep, she is. Hey, how's it going down the wormhole? Welcome. Um, I understand you're a new geocacher. Welcome to the game. And I hope you enjoy it as much as Riverwife and I have. Something else we do, wherever we go, you can find a geocache. It's free, it's fun, and I've been able to use, with just a couple of Riverwife stickers uh, stuck to the back of each other, and then um, a, a whole, these are kind of plastic vinyl stickers, nice quality. Send me a self-addressed stamped envelope if you want to know about that. Punching a little hole in, hanging a dog tag. Sending them all over the world, encouraging people to see the River Life YouTube channel and subscribe. And I have, uh, via the geocaching app, a map of where they've gone from Tennessee to Alaska to California to Washington to Boston to Pennsylvania, all over. The, I'm transcontinental. So cool. I told that story. Uh, and that's probably confusing if you don't understand geocaching. We're not going to go into it in any more detail, but I did talk about it on Multitank Addictions live stream when we talked about collaborations and how I'd turned a free app, a game, a worldwide game, most popular outdoor activity in the world, far more popular in Europe than America, but it is growing apparently very popular in Canada too, right, D? So, um, so yeah, that was a good collaboration and, um, that happened because Multitank Addiction had me on as a guest on his live stream. I was happy to go over there with, with Chris. He had a co-host, Chattanooga Ed, who is the candy overhauls of co-host. We have some very talented people. Uh, Moonstone KK, you're crazy cool. Uh, very talented people in this community. And I love it when, when you guys offer your talents to the community and everyone benefits. So thank you, Chattanooga Ed. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Chris. You guys are wonderful. That's Multitank Addiction, Candy Overhauls, and Chattanooga Ed YouTube channels. Okay, um, we're going to talk now about the middle of the tank subject, which is the video. Uh, the Oliver Knott Scape Kit video has got, prior to airing, 298 views, 71 likes, and a dislike. But 298 views, right on the edge of 300. Will you guys please go watch that video a couple of times? Let's get that thing over 300 views. It's like, it's just dangling there, knocking on the door of uh, a milestone number, 298. Let's get that thing up over 300. Thank you very much for your consideration. And I think you'll like it. Uh, it was one of the... Uh, it was one of the most exciting premieres that I've ever done. The comments during the premiere were crazy. Uh, people loved that thing. And I, I was so glad. And again, it launched um, at, a, at more views in a shorter period of time than any of the other premieres. So thank you guys very much for getting on board with the premieres. That happens on Tuesday at 11 Eastern. Used to be 9. We moved it to 11 so the Westerners could join us. Uh, that was at the request of Candy, uh, Candy Overhauls, and Punchy Paints, Pam, uh, so they could be a part. I, hey, I was just looking for a reason to change the time. Now it's at 11. Hope you guys can make it. And this particular video, Candy's got the link there. Regardless of how well I made the video, the kit is absolutely amazing. I hope you'll check it out, enjoy it. Good luck finding one. I was fortunate with a fish store within a couple of hours of me had one. I didn't find a lot of uh, YouTube videos on it outside of Europe. Several European aquascapers had done unboxings and uh, apparently they've upgraded it. This is like a, um, the light is now got two more letters at the end of it. It's called an SP, the Flexi Mini SP. Um, so it's not only doing well worldwide, it's also now been improved. So 
That for what it's worth, I love the thing. I, I love the video. People love the video. It would help the channel if you would watch it out. I think you'll find it enjoyable. And that's enough on that awesome video. We're going to move on to the bottom dwellers. What's the best bottom dweller for a t-shirt? And if you're going to say Placostomus, and I hope you do, please tell me which one. Which Placostomus is it that's the best for a t-shirt? Bob Kaler of Kaler's Aquatic says the light is awesome. It's, it's, it's the best aquarium light I've ever held. And now I own it, and I'm under some pressure to make sure that this aquascape is worthy of the premium kit. <laughs> no pressure. That's going to be fun. We're going to have a great time. It's going to be a lot of fun building that thing out. Uh, the Zen Ginger says Caradina Shrimp. Not going to disagree. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I think they would be a great t-shirt model. Uh-oh, River Wife um, has apparently said something because the Zen Ginger loved it. Uh, SLC Aquatics. Punchy, punchy Paints. All of you terrific mods. Way to go, River Wife. That's exactly right. She's named the mods. And now Zen Ginger, yes. SLC Aquatics, Susan for SLC Aquatics, Punchy Paints, Multi Tank Addiction. That's a lot of mods. Thank all of you guys. HC Aqua's in the house. Hello. Silly Susie's here too. Mickey M. Hey, Epistogramma. Ortega. I'm going to have to look at that one. I'm not sure exactly which one that is. I'm going to look at that epistogramma. Crabenzas, very popular too, Sand Creek Aquatics. The Bristle Nose Pleco, that's fun. That'd be a lot of fun, Tyler Lott. Cooley Loach, Lumpy Dog. Lumpy Dog, thanks, man. I have got some massive Cooley Loaches I got from Aquabid. Pete. Pete from uh, Lots of Fish. Uh, great fish guy. He's off Aquabid now because he's running a fish store out here. Uh, but he sent me these things. I did an unboxing video years ago, and they are just fat as pigs. I love them. I love that fish. Otto, there you go, Bob Kaler. Let's give the Otto, the Odo, its due. He does all the work down there eating that algae. Let's bring him up to a t-shirt, right? I like that. That was good, Bob. Way to go, Kaler's Aquatics. Gold Nugget Pleco. That's beautiful. Yeah, that Luteus, that yellow Pleco, I like too. Scott's Aquatics, the yellow seam Pleco. I'm not familiar exactly which one you're talking about, but the Luteus comes to mind. It's awesome and huge. By the way, I asked Imperial Tropicals about the temperature range for the Luteus Pleco, and he said it does cold water just fine. If you're keeping it outside, a slow descent into the 60s isn't going to bother it. Apparently, it's a deep uh, river dweller, so it can handle the colder temps. Snowball Plecos, yeah, and Royal. African Dwarf Giraffe Cat. That's a monster. That looks monster-ish in appearance. That'd be cool. I like it. And Chelsea Riley lists one of the Cynodontis, which also are very cool. Jay Jr. giving a, a yeah to the love of the Auto Sinkless. Assassin snails, hey, outside the box. Yes, that reminds me that some Nearites have some pretty colorful shells. They may make a good t-shirt model. Then on the bottom of the tank, we like to give a studio update. And as you know, we're working on a new nanoscape. And that thing's going to go slowly but surely because we want to make sure we get it right. We've got some aquariums in action. I had to move a goldfish over to a hospital tank. So I've got a aquarium set up with a hang on back filter and um, that with adjustable flow. And I took the charcoal uh, filter out of the hang on back and added some, some bio media and a sponge filter because I also added some erythromycin following uh, hydrogen peroxide rubs and a, a full salt bath so we're at stage three and we've got the fish is more active now it does have some scarring unfortunately it's not 
It's not attractive, but we may be on the mend. So I'll keep you posted on that. That's going on in the fish room. Uh, I did order and received a couple of mag flows and I am scraping some algae off some tanks <laughs> and they look brand new. It's, it's awesome. Uh, Kaler's Aquatics says Candy owes him a Coke. I hope that Candy, you're able to give Bob that Coke you owe him. Bad at Tom's story says, what happened to the goldfish? One of the little rascals arrived. If you go back and look at the video really closely, it had a little fungus on the face. And I'm still not sure exactly what it is or what caused it. We're just treating it. Okay. So, um, and it got aggressive. It got aggressive. So, well, I guess we'll know more as, as things continue to work out, however they're going to work out. And if I learn something, I'll pass it along to you. And I look forward to learning something. Well, uh, yeah, I'm going to learn something. I'll pass it along to you guys. Jeffrey's leaving. We'll see you later, Jeffrey. Yeah, it's so beautiful. You wouldn't notice better time stories. Just gorgeous. You have to look really close and you'll say, oh, I guess that was it. Yeah. Yeah, look around the face, around the mouth on the smallest one. Okay. All right, it is 11.12. How about that? 11.12, 71 of you watching now. I don't have any idea how many likes we have. But um, if you haven't hit that like button, move on over there and do that little click. That helps us all. We're going to move down to a water change. Now we're going to change the subject up in here. And we're going to talk about upcoming fish events. Okay, I mean like right around the corner, we're doing a meetup in knoxville tennessee a little fish tubers kind of informal gathering i'd ask a local fish store owner uh if i could do a live stream there and then there's so many of us in the immediate area it's like well heck yeah everybody can come so uh peck tech a larger youtube channel he's going to drop by uh fish room fever is going to be there Chattanooga Ed's going to be there. I think uh, Kaler's Aquatics may have a conflict, but may be able to be there. Hey, Oddball Aquatics. Thanks for dropping in, Haley. Um, going to be a great turnout. Uh, Ginger Graves, I think, is going to try to be there. A um, couple of others have mentioned they're going to try to be there. So I know there's going to be a few of us there. There is a uh, There's some information on <clears throat> Facebook about a fish tubers meetup in Knoxville. I'm getting texts from River Sun. No, no worries, River Sun. Yep, I'll get I'll get back with you following uh, the live stream. Happy to help your buddy. Uh, UPSer, Knoxville, Tennessee, born and raised, Loudoun County. Well, you're gonna be there, UPSer. We're going over to uh, Fishkeeping Jamaica. Is leaving. I didn't even know he was in here. Riley, how's it going? Sorry, I miss you, Riley. I'm scanning up. Oh gosh, I hope he, he's he's probably long gone. Anyway, a visitor from Jamaica. Y'all check out Fish Keeping Jamaica. Got some outdoor pond setups that are pretty cool. Doing neat things down there in Jamaica. All right, so yeah, we're going to meet up at Aquatic Marine Fish Store. And uh, at 1 o'clock, I guess is the official kickoff. The YouTubers are going to go... A little early and we're going to have access to the shop we can film the tanks meet each other greet each other we're going to be doing live streams we're going to have some food for the for the youtubers and and families that show up it's going to be basically a picnic at a fish store on youtube it's just real informal like that a river wife says bob's able to come all right I hope that's right. Yeah. Okay. There's Riley. Oh, I'm glad I didn't miss you. Yeah. Good to see you, Riley. He's, if you, uh, if you see fish keeping Jamaica there, you can hover over that channel name and you'll get an option. If you click on the three dots to go to channel, be, be sure you go over there and check out fish keeping Jamaica, a uh, big supporter of the fish fam, excellent data resource, especially helping smaller YouTube channels, less than a thousand subscribers are unmonetized. Good work on that, Riley. Thank you again. Uh, let's see. Tiffany White. Yes, I, I, that was the other name that uh, I knew there was another one. That was it. Tiffany White is also going to be there. 
Bob Kaler says, yes, he will be there along with two local fish store owners. This thing, wow, this thing started off like a little snowball and it's rolling down a big hill gathering more snow. I love it. It's going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be like, like what we're doing now. We're going to hang out. We're going to talk about fish stuff. We're going to share ideas. Uh, hopefully, we'll, we'll share ideas with each other that, uh, as YouTubers, we'll get some ideas for content. We'll get an idea of um, who the real person is. You know, we perceive the channel name and, and the content, and we have a perception. And then when you meet someone in person, it like usually it shifts things always in a better way for me, but there's just so many unknowns when you're having to fill in the blanks mentally that you don't even mean to. It's not like you're judging. You just, you got to lean on something. And then when you meet somebody, Oh, okay, good, good. So uh, that wasn't, that didn't make a lot of sense all that, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Multi tank addiction is next in 14 minutes. Uh, Fish Keem Jamaica says, one up boss, every time I think of leaving, I'm impressed to check out some channels here uh, for my list. And now I'm leaving. Okay, no worries. 4 a.m. We'll be up again. Whew, nice chat. Great group of persons. And it's better because you're here, Riley. Thanks for stopping by. 4 a.m. is early, brother. Uh, I feel for you. Thanks for stopping by. We understand you got to get some rest. Uh, Chattanooga Ed. Uh, looking forward to getting your stickers. We're going to put those in the sticker jam. We already talked about that. Okay. Candy said it made sense. Therefore, ergo, it made sense. And now we're going to get down to the aquascaping, the creative portion of the show. My favorite part. I love talking about multi-tank addiction and this um, painting. This is the original painting of his um, Project Piaba, and I did that light wrong again. We got a glare. I'm sorry about that, guys. This is his Project Piaba Cardinal Tetra. He has this is the original. He's got prints for sale at his website, and every time he sells one of those prints, Project Piaba gets a portion of the proceeds to help their all 100% volunteer effort to protect a fishery that sustains our fish hobby. If you want to know more about it, there's links in um, there's links in the chat that have already been listed. It's projectpiaba.org. We love those guys. It's the best thing happening in the freshwater fish hobby, as far as I'm concerned, and a wonderful collaboration opportunity. Now, the the title of tonight's stream was collaboration versus competition, and I just wanted to touch on this. Uh, you know, it's Super Bowl week. Chattanooga Ed's Chiefs won, and because of Chattanooga Ed, they were my Chiefs this week. I finally pulled for a winning Super Bowl team. Haven't been able to do that since Peyton Manning won. So um, the the difference, I guess, we'll, we'll just mention a difference between a collaboration and a competition. A competition sets out to divide the resources, hopefully with an advantage to one competitor over the other make sense and then if it's if you're talking about getting more pieces of the pie then there's some the crust just becomes crumbs and no one gets to consume them so it's a very consumptive uh action versus a collaboration that seeks to compile the resources for everyone to share and so then the uh, the sum is greater than the value of the parts like money drawing interest in a bank it becomes a bigger energy. There's more to share. There's more wins. You don't necessarily have to, to give something away and risk and, I mean, and risk or you get it or I get it. It's an and. You get it and I get it and together we make more of it. So if you'll watch this in the replay and then think about it, uh, you know, let it marinate. Give it some time. It's, it's like, do you want the pie? Do you want to be the competitor that wins? Do you want the pie? That's competition. Or do you want to be the manufacturer of the pie? Making thousands of fun, thousands of pies. You want to be the manufacturer? You want to go for the pie? Okay, there's, there's a lot of wisdom concentrated in that. You're really going to have to think about it to draw that out. Do, am I a competitor? Yes. Am I a collaborator? Yes. Um, what, it's not right or wrong. 
there's no right or wrong. Just that in my experience as an older guy, I find there are more, far more mutual benefits in a collaboration versus a competition. So as you approach others, maybe approach with a collaborative spirit rather than a competitive spirit. Give that a thought. See, see how that rattles around in your brain. Then um, why would I be a competitor then? I said I was a competitor. So the competitions that I participate in are the ones that are set up and provided by collaborators. So the collaborators get the prize together and you go to a, an aquarium convention and you see a competition, an aquascaping competition. This guy's going to win or that guy's going to win or this girl's going to win or that girl's going to win. But that competition is set up by the collaborators, just like the Super Bowl. I mean, the 49ers wanted to beat the Chiefs. The Chiefs wanted to beat the same. There's one trophy. They both want, they didn't want to share the trophy. They wanted one team to get the trophy. So that competition was hosted by the collaborators, the owners of the team, the league, the third party venue, all of the, the concession stands and the merch stores, uh, in the stadium, all the fans went to the same stadium, traveled on some of the same airlines. So many collaborations were ahead of this competition that it's it's hard to say the Super Bowl is just a competition. As a matter of fact, if it weren't for the collaborators, there wouldn't be this fantastic competition. So in a community building sense, you don't want to bet the farm. You don't want to put up your resources with the risk of losing them uh, with you know the advantage being, well, if you win, you get more resources when you can collab and just pool and continue to build the resources you have. So the competition that I would ordain and participate in would be the ones that are organized by the collaborators. And that's what I have to say about that. So as we work together as a community, let's consider each other collaborators first. And let's figure out a way to safely, with mutual benefit, pool our resources to make them available to whomever needs them or wants them. And then... I think what happens, we build that community so that our pile of resources grows. And as, as far as my professional career went, it was seeing at the community level this pile of resources and deciding what's the best and highest use of the resources. And it wasn't ever, let's take a bunch of them and give to, to one idea. It was... How many ideas can we give some resource to to encourage them? And then if, if, that, if a particular idea needs more resource, let's help them find more resource after having given a portion of ours. If there's still a need, let's help them find them from somewhere else. And when we start looking at opportunities through the lens of collaboration, the wins just seem to stack up. Now, if you'll look in our immediate community, the, the, the community tank, and you think about Project Piaba, I have a video recommended by Amazonas Magazine. Um, this is my new, I just got my subscription going. This is my first edition. And because of a collab with Project Piaba, I have a video recommended by Amazonas Magazine. Unbelievable. International Magazine recommending YouTube content because I collabed with Project Piaba. Multitank Addiction has several art projects in the pipeline coming to fruition because he collaborated with Project Piaba. Project Piaba is basically a collaboration steward in the Rio Negro area, setting up um, community groups for the fishermen to learn best techniques, setting up shipping lanes, establishing um, uh, U.S. importers to receive the fish that are being caught down there. 27 years of research, everyone's using their data, and it's just a collaborative effort that's ending up in wins for hobbyists like us. And by us, I mean me and Chris and you 
And anybody who buys one of Chris's prints gets a print that they love because it's awesome. And Project Piava gets uh, some money to continue to function as they do. You get a good feeling as a fish keeper. And we sustain the hobby that we love, bringing fish from the wild to our living rooms in a sustainable manner. I don't know why it makes me feel good to say that, but it does. So I was happy to make that tonight's main topic. And if you have other ideas, fantastic. I'm not, I'm not trying to build a fence here and say this is the only idea. This is a way to look at things. Simply better in the house. Good to see you. Um, it's a way of looking at things that makes a really good use of community resources in, in my experience, both personal and professional. So that's out there in the universe. I hope you get something out of it. And it's something to, to consider if you haven't ever heard anything like that before, uh, you know, make sure you, you, you agree before you start applying that all over your life. But if you do give weight out there, try it on a couple of little, uh, collaborative efforts and see, see what happens. It, it's working out for a lot of people I know and has for a long time. I hope it does for you. Rose Aquatics <laughs> says I'm trying to get donations for Project Piava on my website. That's cool. Oh, River Wife's talking to Simply Beta about her own fry, her little baby. That's cute. Yeah, they grow up and move away. Um, that's a fact. Love your loved ones while you can. Chattanooga Ed says, Chris from Multitank Addiction is cool. That's an understatement, Ed. He's the coolest guy on the internet. We're going to go over there in a minute. Hashtag what? Nanoscape. Hashtag nanoscape. 1127 we're going over there in three minutes we are we got a uh yeah there's the link okay thank you the zen ginger we've got candy overhauls involved with a bob kaler sponsored gofundme i saw that link go up once make sure you check that out get over there and help out the community if you can punchy pants also has a GoFundMe, I believe that one's sponsored by Candy Overhulls. Uh, feel free to put those links up if you want to, guys. Uh, love supporting Pam. And did she make it in here? Is Pam here? I ordered one of her artist trading cards. And I mean to tell you, I got that thing today. And a new sticker. Uh, she only sent me one, guys. It's not going to be in the sticker jam. It's mine. Sorry. Not sorry. Thank you, Pam. Uh, she sent me a beautiful card and a nice note on the back. And just well done. Just aces, Pam. Way to go. Uh, she sent me this. It's a. It's in a little uh, protective cover that baseball trading cards fit in. So it is the artist trading card. Uh, the thing that artists do, I think, that like three and a half by, by two inches. Um something like that so they're they're kind of the same size that's not right three and a half by three something like that but i want to show you guys this and she did a video of making this artist trading card aren't those corys beautiful and you can just watch her draw them you can just watch them come to life on her video and i immediately contacted her i said pam are you going to sell that card and she said yes she likes to sell these little things because you can own an original piece of art without going into debt. And so uh, we arranged the price and I just sent it right away. And I'm so happy to have that. Punchy Paints. You guys have got to check out some of her work. And she does art prints, calendars. You can get art through her Patreon. And she could, she could really use the support right now. Um, I was listening to her live stream last night and her water pipes have frozen. She's having to buy water to, you know, to take care of herself and her fish. So, um, check out, uh, Pam's GoFundMe hosted by candy and also her Patreon page. And I think she also has a PayPal address, but I am just so tickled to have her artist trading card, this original work of art. She signed it on the back. 
and put it in the protective case. I love it. I cherish that. Thank you so much, Pam Punchy Paints. Well, it's 1130. Guys, we've got a call of the night. We've got to get out of here and head over to Multi-Tank Addictions live stream. Hashtag NanoScape. And I want you to stay in the tank and get your fish on. Until the next time, why don't you get out there and see it, live it, and love it. And I'll catch you on the next one. I said that backwards. Get out there and see it, love it, and live it. And I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>